moving closer. Day by day, I feel your presence a little stronger. Like the sun ever so gently warming my room on those brisk winter mornings, I felt you even before you dawned on me. You have the power to set the whole world ablaze in a moment, and yet you filled my soul with your light ever so slowly. So softly you woke me, so gently you broke me. I was fast asleep in a deep, dark, dreamless state, and you stood by and whispered, You were patient, you loved me back to life, so unwaveringly patient, relentlessly stationed beside my bed as I remained unawakened. You never lost your temper. It was I who caused my own frustrations as I thrashed about in confused rage and still you warm my frozen heart and fingers into soulful animation. Forgive me for all the time I have taken to realize my mistakes and to seek your promised absolution. I am ashamed for not having come to life sooner. I was lost, but I have you now. Dear God, do with me as you see fit. I lay all my affairs in your hand, I finally submit. I will bear my naked chest and let it be torn to shreds in the name of the dishonored and disrespected. If I be worthy, let me burn for thee. Let my life be offered up as a sacrifice for the sake of the sacred feminine. Let me offer myself up for the service and protection of women. How could you have let man make a plaything of your most sacred earthly presence? With what infinite strength and forbearance were you able to watch the desecration of your holy essence? Why did you allow us to trample the steps of your holy temples? Why did you allow us to bring with us our dust and mud to your places of worship? What a cruel twist of fate when men are finally awakened to the extent of their blindness and for having been so wayward, for not having recognized your ever-loving, always patient benevolence emanating from the souls of women. Why this most heart-wrenching realization? I beg you, guide me to that well from which woman has drawn her patience for all these thousands of years. Give me but a drop of it, that I may forgive man. For though they know not what they do, I am not sure they deserve your forgiveness. And I find it difficult at times to not hate man, to not hate my own hands, for not having acted sooner, for not having eaten the face of that man who abused her. How could we have remained silent and consumed with the insignificant matters of life while women were beaten to death? How did the result of football games take precedence over the lives of women? find it difficult, dear God, to not hate man. I beg you, offer me a portion of the strength and forbearance you instilled in women.